Suspense. Your host is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite products include ornamental plastics, wire and cable, distributors, coils, and a complete line of ignition engineers, standard, and resistor type spark plugs. Autolite also makes starting motor armatures, starting motors, generators, voltage regulators, and all types of batteries, including the famous Autolite Stay Full battery. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. So from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 98,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. life in the country, a retired gentleman surrounded by a few congenial neighbors and uh, my not so faithful servant. Uh, Jacques, see who that is. Poor Jacques, every once in a while I detect a note of envy in his eyes. Jacques appreciates my house almost as much as I do. Ah, bon, bon, Let's see in your class, <laughs> Monsieur Le Merci, Lecours. merci, merci, monsieur. There is someone to see you, monsieur. Yes. Visitors? Yes. At this time of night, Monsieur Bidoc? Que voulez-vous, Madame la Comtesse? Yes, what is it, Jacques? If you will excuse me for a moment, my friend. Yes. We hear you admire this house very much, Jacques. Uh, oui, madame. I treasure all its treasures. A nice. I wonder if Monsieur Bidoc knows what a treasure he has in you. <laughs> It may be difficult, but we must convince him. He is the only one who can help us. Bidoc, I do hope you will forgive us for interrupting your dinner Mon party. Cher Monsieur Henri, the chief of police of Paris does not drive way out here to see a retired policeman like myself if he is not on an urgent mission. Quite so. Oh, this is Monsieur Williams from Scotland Yard. Monsieur. In England, Monsieur Vidoc, we still consider you the best policeman in the world. That is nice to hear, young man. The trouble with past glories is that they are so soon forgotten. Fortunately, I have been able to uh, preserve mine like uh, butterflies. You I was see. admiring them. It's my collection of guns, daggers, keys, all at one time the property of criminals that I arrested in my time. <laughs> oh, Jacques, pour some brandy, please. As your humble successor, Vidoc, I now realize what an amazing talent you have. You're too kind. 
He was on intimate terms with every thief and murderer in Paris. <laughs> but they even accused him of being in partnership with them. They could never understand how I solved their crime so quickly unless I had been present at the time that they were plotted. It was very amusing. <laughs> but uh, tell me, monsieur, what can I do for you? There's been another daring robbery, Vidoc. And I need your help. Robbery, eh? Where? At the National Museum. <laughs> the National Museum, eh? Well, I see nothing amusing about that fact, Vidal. No, it's very amusing. This is the third time in a month that it has been robbed. Well, even so. <laughs> and what did the thieves get away with this time? Only the finest objects, naturally, including a mirror that belonged to King Louis XIV. Not only clever men, but men of good taste, huh? Oh, Jacques, that will be all. Close the doors after you. Monsieur. Uh, might I inquire, Mr. Williams, what is your particular interest in this case? Well, certain valuable French art treasures have been turning up in England. Mm -hmm. Cleverly disguised, of course. And sold to the usual gullible bar. And by the wealthiest. Yes. Dukes, princes, maharajas. Ah, uh ha, -huh, ha. Uh, these, these criminals. Do you not admire their impudence, Mr. Williams? <laughs> I can't afford to. Our mm -hmm. Queen has instructed Scotland Yard to clear up this outrage before it becomes an international scandal. Oh, I'm sorry. I had not realized this affair had reached such international proportions. Your queen has my deepest sympathy. But uh, this robbery, it must have been planned by a man who is used to the world of art galleries and museums, a man accustomed to dine with princes, maharajas, dukes, his prospective customers. Uh, this sure. man is a master. I, I drink to him. Mr. Vidoc, in your long experience, have you never met such a character? Perhaps, perhaps. Well, well, who, Mr. Vidoc? <laughs> of course. One can never be sure, but even if this man did not have a direct connection with these robberies, there is a very good chance that he can lead you to the guilty parties. Well, for heaven's sakes, tell us, Vidoc. A man I knew in the old days, most charming. He had entree into the greatest houses of France. And although he was not a uh, nobleman himself, he passed himself off as one. He called himself Le Marquis de Villiers. And where can I find him? Monsieur Henri, you would always make life so simple. How do I know where to find him? I haven't seen him for years. But, Monsieur Vidoc, you must help us. Your enthusiasm is very attractive, mon ami. But I have retired from the police department and I intend to remain retired. And now I must join my guests. Excuse me. And nothing can change your mind. When you have reached my age, monsieur, you will realize that the scent of battle loses its charm. But, Monsieur Vidoc, I don't think you quite realize the seriousness of the situation. Well, my reputation as police commissioner is secure. I see no reason to put it in jeopardy by flinging myself into a case which I am afraid cannot be solved. And I am afraid that it must be solved. Well, I have given you all the help I can. Find the Marquis de Villiers, and you will find your thieves. And now, monsieur, good night. And good luck to you. Hmm. The policeman has done very well for himself. This is a beautiful property. The title to the property is in the hands of the National Museum. He has been given a lifetime interest in it. And he has done very well with his investment. Monsieur Henri, I believe I left my gloves. Um, why don't you wait for me in the coach? I won't be a minute. Bon. got my gloves. I didn't want to disturb you again. Oh. You are admiring the keys that belong to the uh, Marquis de Villiers? Yes, um, I noticed them earlier. The inscription on the tag caught my eye. Uh, may I have them? Have them? Oh, uh, should I slip them into my pocket? 
to the old man. <laughs> the um, Marquis gave you those keys? With the greatest appreciation, you read the tag. Yes. Um, what were they used for? These keys opened many doors for the Marquis. Quite so. Well, Mr. Vidoc, if you do change your mind and decide to help me, you can find me at my flat in Paris, 22 Place Saint Sulpice. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bonsoir. I will be going into Paris in the morning. I can be reached at number 22, plus Saint-Sulpice. Uh, oui, monsieur. Uh, put these keys away. Mr. Vidoc. <laughs> Monsieur Williams, I'm disturbing you. It is too early. No, no, no. Come in, please. I'm delighted to see you. Thank you. I have been considering your case all night long, and I have come to give you some advice. You changed your mind. Excellent. <laughs> well, go back to London. Go back to London? Why? Because you are involved in something that is much more dangerous than you can possibly realize. <laughs> Our profession is dangerous. Mr. Vidoc, I've always admired you. Is that what you would do in my position? Yes. I don't believe you. You would not run away because the situation was dangerous. And neither will I. Well, uh, I'm uh, sorry. Sorry for what? Because that leaves me with nothing to do but... Um, but what? But to help you solve this case. No. Oh, wonderful at last. You are a very conscientious young man. This morning, on my way over here, I let out word that I wish to renew my acquaintance with the Marquis de Villiers. And what have you heard? Word well, has come back to me that the Marquis will be at the Café de la Tour tonight at midnight. And you're going to take me there? The Café de la Tour is one of the most dangerous rifles in Paris. Are you sure you want to go there? I am sure. Very well. Then I will pick you up here at midnight. Mr. Vidoc? I'm extremely grateful to you. Not at all, not at all. And so... Accessoire. Accessoire, monsieur. Conscientious young man. You must ask no more questions. How will I know him? An Englishman, you say. Shall I use poison? Or this? <laughs> that is your business, my friend. Until midnight, then. Hi there, this is Rex Marshall speaking for Autolite. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. Right now, while we take this brief intermission, I'd like to show you one of our little cartoon stories. Now, this particular one concerns that eminent scholar and philosopher, Professor Stuyvesant Smog. 
Well, the whole thing began one day when the professor was on his way to the academy to deliver a lecture on improving the memory. So he got into his car, he stepped on the starter, and... Uh, <laughs> nothing happened. The battery was dead. Eminent scholar that he was, he'd forgotten to fill it with water, and it was as dry as one of the professor's own lectures. <laughs> well, you see, that's the time that the professor learned something. He learned that he certainly would have avoided a lot of trouble for himself if he'd had an Autolite Stay Full battery, the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. In fact, if you'll just take a look here, I'll show you what I mean. You see, in the ordinary battery, small particles keep flaking off the positive plates. So the ordinary battery has to have a large space in the bottom of the case to hold the particles. Otherwise, they'll get together and short circuit the plates and the battery's dead. But there's a big difference in the new Autolite Stay Full battery. Every positive plate has a fiberglass retaining mat protecting it, holding those active materials in place to reduce that flaking. There's the fiberglass, the feature that gives such real advantages to the Autolite Stay Full battery. Now, while the ordinary battery requires this much extra space below the plates, the Autolite Stay Full doesn't need all that extra space. So we use it to advantage by putting it up above. Well, now, with both batteries filled to capacity, you can see that the solution in the ordinary battery barely covers those all-important plates. But in the Autolite Stay Full, there's over three times as much liquid reserve for over three times the protection. Well, as water evaporates in the ordinary battery, parts of the plates are left exposed and partially inactive. But when the same amount of water evaporates from the Autolite Stay Full, the plates are fully protected and still active. And that's why your Autolite Stay Full battery needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And it's important to remember that the Autolite Stay Full battery gives longer life in tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. Believe me, your money just can't buy a better battery. Why don't you pay a visit soon to your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer? He services all makes of batteries, and if you need a replacement, he'll have an Autolite Stay Full for your car. To quickly learn his location, simply call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25, please. That's right. Call me, and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. <laughs> Now, the second act of Monsieur Vidoc with Louis Van Ruten. Oh, immensely. Such advanced ideas. <laughs> Such distinguished guests. Oh, the most distinguished in the underworld, mon ami. The Capitol La Tour is their private club. Oh, the Lady Adele has just come in. She's a real countess, but a very expert pickpocket. She has a rendezvous here tonight with the Marquis de Villiers. Bonsoir. Oh, Marquis. Ça va? <laughs> you seem to know everybody. <laughs> well, my dear friend, I slept very much at home. I am one of them. What do you mean, one of them? Did you not know that I was once been a convict on a chain gang? You a convict? <laughs> there is the mark, my friend. When I was 16, I was a robber. I was convicted and sent to a chain gang. And that is where I met all these lovely people. Then when I was released, I pretended to be one of them, but I kept the police informed of all of their little goings-on, and crime disappeared from Paris. Eventually, I received my reward. I was made the commissioner of police. Does anyone know of this? Well, the government has known for a long time. After all, I keep it a secret, and I have not been a criminal since I was 16. 
And what better policeman is there than a man who has been a criminal, huh? <laughs> Can lead you to the harbors of the National Museum. Hmm, he doesn't appear very dangerous. Your friend will never trust to appear. Remember, I know enough about you to send you to jail for life. The police! The police! Hello, hello, Castilla, I see. Someone tried to knife me. Who is responsible for this? This fellow started it. He tried to cheat me out of a bill, monsieur. Monsieur Vidoc? I'm here on uh, official business. Arrest this man. But I had nothing to do with this. Never mind. Come here. Oh, wait a minute. Have we never met. If you are going to arrest me, do so quickly. Come along. had a lovely shot, Monsieur Vidoc, but now I must run. <laughs> oh, don't forget, you are coming to dinner tomorrow evening. Ma chère Madame la Comtesse, how could I possibly forget? Oh, <laughs> don't bother to see me out. I'll go through the garden. <laughs> Mr. Williams. Mr. Vidoc, I just stopped in my way down to the boat to say goodbye. Your Marquis de Villiers proved very useful to us. Oh, you got him to talk? In exchange for a light sentence, as you suggested. Then your case is solved and you have recovered all the stolen goods. Except one. Ah? Huh? The mirror that belonged to Louis XIV. Hmm. Your handling of this case has been a revelation to me. Thank you. But I wonder, wonder if a junior inspector may make one slight criticism what of his teacher. What is that? You allowed us to capture the Marquis de Villiers. Mm -hmm. He led us to the four henchmen, and they're all in jail. But you omitted to tell us who was the instigator of these robberies. Oh. Then uh, you believe that there is a higher mind than the yes. Marquis de Villiers? And I found him. You have found him? He's outside waiting. Would you like to meet him? This way. Would you 
recognize it? No. You should. It's the mirror that belonged to King Louis XIV. Of course, the, the frame has been completely changed, but we know that you must have been present when the transformation took place. What are you suggesting? That the real leader is there. The Marquis de Villiers told us everything. My dear friend, I have used this horse myself. I do not believe you. It is quite true, Mr. Leader. The National Museum was offering a tremendous reward for the capture of the thieves. And he made a little arrangement with them. You see, I knew enough about you to, to send you to prison for life, too. I turned down the money and instead took a lifetime interest in this little chateau. Which, as you know, I have always admired so much. Quite true. If he behaves himself from now on, you will come along with me, Monsieur Viduc. There's no honor, even among thieves, is there? My cher Monsieur Williams, my conscientious young friend, will you please give my regrets to the Comtesse de Barry? I will be unable to dine with her tomorrow. She'll be heartbroken, I'm sure. My walking stick, Jacques? <laughs> you forget? I am master here now. Monsieur Vidoc, it has been a pleasant life. Come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our story for next week. First, I'd like to remind you drivers that when it comes to batteries, the Autolite Stay Full is the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. To quickly learn the location of your nearest Autolite battery dealer, simply call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25, please. I'm Operator 25. Call me and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. cordially invites engineers and engineering students to investigate opportunities with the company. For information, write Autolite's Personnel Department, Toledo 1, Ohio. Next week, our story will be The Whispering Killer, the story of one of America's most notorious gangsters, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. For Tuesday Night Thrills, see Danger on the CBS Television Network.